Hey, it's Stacy here. When you're visiting Korea, food places, restaurants, they all have different level of spiciness and you can never relax. Some place, like number three, is like, oh, doable spicy. But in some places, level two is like, oh, I'm gonna die kind of spicy. Number level, I think it varies depending on what place you go to. I've got a way to kind of like categorize the spiciness level. And we use our noodles. <laughs> they have different spicy level. Like we all know what kind of spicy level we can expect. So it's universal, so it's really good to use it for comparison. So level one is this, called Sari Gomtang. So this, as you can see, is like white soup noodle, so it's not red at all, which means it's not spicy. It has no pepper in it, it's not spicy at all, it's just very mild and just yum. GG Easy Noobs. So level one is zero spicy. Sari Gomtang le level, it's not spicy at all. Level 2 is where the spiciness begins and it's called this. Jinlamyeon. So when it comes to this, what you need to watch out for is there's two kinds of jinlamyeon. So this, the blue one, is mild flavor. To Koreans, to be honest, we can't really taste any spiciness with this noodle. Like I personally don't think it's spicy at all. Like these two are the same level for me. Just do it! Yes you can! Impossible. But to the foreigners who are not used to spicy food, this can be kind of spicy. It will kind of stimulate your tongue a little bit, like more so than this one, at least the level one. So this is what we consider level two, so beginning of spiciness. Level three, the average spiciness. So this is probably the most famous Korean noodles, and it's shinlamyeon. As you can see, to begin with, it's red, it's it's pretty spicy, and shin actually means spicy like in Chinese characters and everything. So this literally is a spicy noodle, is what the name of it. So shin ramen is the most famous, and a lot of people just know how spicy shin ramen can get. So I don't think it's just that spicy, it's like an enjoyable kind of spicy for Koreans. So this is that's why we consider this as a level 3, which is the middle level. But to foreigners, this can be quite spicy. So when I was back in New Zealand, I had friends that tried these and they would need water, they would need milk and candy to calm their tongue down because it was too spicy for them. So people who are not good with spicy food, this will be pretty spicy. So whenever you go to different restaurants, like most places actually have this as their comparison. Like level 2, Shin Ramyeon level and everything. If you want to try one noodle out of everything, this is the noodle that you should at least try to know what kind of spicy level you can handle. And level 4 is a very very famous noodle because it was an internet sensation, everyone was doing the challenge on YouTube, and that is level 4, Bulldog Bokkumyeon. It is so spicy, like literally I'm talking about it and my mouth is watering because like it's so spicy even for me. Level 3 to level 4 is like a whole new level. Like, I feel like there should be a level 3.5, but usually they use Shin as level 3 and this is like level 4. But this is pretty spicy. So for people who can, who likes enjoying spicy noodle, this is like, oh, like spicy, unlike painful and everything, but still at the same time enjoyable kind of spicy. So obviously to the people outside Korea who are not that used to spicy food, this is extremely spicy. That's why there was a whole like spicy chicken noodle challenge and this is it. This is what I would use for level 4. Enjoyable but very 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 spicy level. And level 5 is actually from the same line as level 4. It's like the same brand but different version of it. So it's called Hek. And honestly, we couldn't even find it because not many people eat it because it's so spicy. So we, I couldn't even find an actual thing of it. So Koreans use heck to explain something extreme. Like heck product is like extremely spicy. To be honest, I personally haven't tried it because I know I will die if I eat that. Because for me, like when I was making these, like when I eat these, like even smelling it kind of like is spicy. Like you can smell the spiciness. So with level 5, like your lips all get plumped with the, and your tongue's on fire. At that point, like you can't even calm it down with water or milk. So you might wonder, um, how is this going to, is it, do people actually use this? People actually do use this in restaurants. Like when you go to restaurants, it, sometimes it will have the um, number levels, like 1, 2, 3 level. And in the bracket, it will say shin ramyeon, spicy level to tell people that oh, level 3 is 
this kind of spicy or like level two some some places level four can be shinramyo or level two can be shinramyo because depending on what restaurant you go to they have different level of spiciness so this is a really handy way of defining how spicy the food is like if you're good with this obviously try this and find out whether this is too spicy for you or not and if this is too spicy for you stick to the level below or if you think this is okay i can handle the kind of spicy you can dare to try this one and level four and see how you feel. I mean, it's, it's going to be spicy for sure. No, no one is going to eat this and say, hey, this is not spicy at all. You will definitely feel it in your tongue, but maybe you're the kind of person that enjoys that kind of pain and kind of spicy level. This is a baby level for Korea. So come prepared if you're trying spicy food in Korea. I really hope this will help you guys when you guys are traveling to Korea. And until next video, it's a wrap. Bye.